Grand Theft Auto 6 will likely be a historic release, the likes of which we've never seen before, and our feeble little human minds won't even be able to comprehend the amount of money that it will generate. I wager there will be more copies of Grand Theft Auto 6 than there are copies of the Bible. If Jesus Christ resurrected the day that GTA 6 released, no one would even talk about the, the, the Savior coming back. They'd be talking about GTA 6 being the Savior of entertainment. It, it is... It can't be overstated just how popular Grand Theft Auto is as a property. GTA 5 is a decade old now, it's generated billions of dollars, and it is still one of the most played games and most known games there is, 10 years later. And GTA 6, I imagine, will break all of the records, not just in video games, but in general, across everything. I don't mean, like, across everything, it's not gonna break, like, the record for the fastest mile time ever ran, or the fucking most hot dogs eaten in a minute. I mean sales records. I feel like anyone who even loosely dabbles in gaming will pick up a copy of GTA 6. If it was between A Cure for Cancer and GTA 6, GTA 6 is probably winning that in a landslide. Like, more people will go towards that. Like, that's how big Grand Theft Auto is as a franchise. And today, the world was blessed with a confirmed date for the trailer number one to drop for GTA 6. It's going to be Tuesday, December 5th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I think this is a suboptimal day and time to release something of this magnitude. A Tuesday, just the middle of the week, people have work and school, and then 9 a.m., they will be smack dab in the middle of work and school. They can't even just be there glued to the screen for it to drop. They'll have to wait till they get home, so the anticipation will have them fucking scratching at their neck like an addict. I, I just don't really understand why they choose that. I do imagine, though, there will be a sizable chunk of people that just call out sick to work and school, so that way they can be there, fucking popcorn in hand, ready to bust a nut watching the trailer right when it drops. But of course, I'm only speaking from my perspective as a dumb American Cro-Magnon man. Perhaps this day and time is optimal on a global scale. But uh, anyway, I, I also want to mention something else. The Rockstar Games Instagram account, I guess, deleted every post that isn't this announcement. They said, fuck it, everything before this trailer? Irrelevant now. We don't need to worry about anything that's ever happened. Prior to this trailer, it's ushering in a new age. Brand new, clean slate. Let's fucking run it. GTA 6 trailer is dropping December 5th on Tuesday, and I want to briefly talk about the major thing that I'd like to see from it in one way or another. Now, obviously we have seen a bit from GTA 6 because of all the leaks. Assuming you're someone that was, you know, spoiling yourself a little bit by taking a peek under the hood at early footage, there were a lot of confirmed leaks that came out, and in my opinion... I actually thought the leaks were incredible. I thought all of the early gameplay footage and a lot of the mechanics and things that were in there were very impressive for how early along the development appeared to be. It actually got me even more hype for GTA 6, actually. But when I talk about what I'd like to see from the GTA 6 trailer, I'm going to avoid anything that has even been loosely shown in the leaks, to the best of my ability. I haven't seen all of the leaks, but I did spoil my appetite a little bit and take a peek at some of them. The main thing, the number one main thing I would like to see from this GTA 6 trailer is some gameplay footage. And most specifically, I want to see a real change in the Rockstar Games shooting mechanics. They have remained largely the same for a long time now. Even with Red Dead 2, they made some quality of life adjustments, but the core DNA was still fundamentally the same as it had been in GTA 5 all those years prior. And even from GTA 5 to GTA 4, I didn't feel it was a massive leap, at least not to me personally. There were changes, of course, but to me it wasn't like this really mind-blowing improvement to the gunplay. I would really love to see GTA 6 showcase something new from their, their actual gunplay formula. If I was to have a wet dream come to life for GTA 6, and this is something I've talked about on stream before, I would love to see them actually use the third-person shooting mechanics that Rockstar developed for Max Payne 3. Max Payne 3, I think, is a masterpiece of a game. It is a Rockstar game, and if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it. And the number one standout thing when it comes to its gameplay is its third-person shooting mechanics. It is so fluid, so smooth. It is the most dynamic third-person shooting experience I've ever had. And even today, 11 years later, I don't think there's a third-person shooter that comes close to what Max Payne 3 captured with its gunplay. It is so fucking good. 
And Rockstar has just sat on that, leaving it out to fester and rot in the rain, and has done nothing with that incredible foundation they built with those mechanics. I would love to see them take the Max Payne 3 gunplay and introduce it to GTA 6. I think that that would be a perfect marriage. To have the gunplay mechanics that Max Payne 3 had in GTA would be mind-blowing. The possibilities would be legitimately unending. It's just been this treasure, this sacred treasure, a divine artifact locked away in a sarcophagus at Rockstar HQ, this Max Payne 3 gunplay. Just unleash it to the world, open Pandora's box, put it in GTA 6 in some capacity. Of course, I'm not stupid enough or naive enough to think that you can just copy and paste it to GTA 6 seamlessly, but what I'm talking about is mainly Rockstar has shown that they can do really innovative gunplay in a third-person shooter environment. So let's do it. Introduce it to GTA 6. Let's branch out from the same Rockstar Games gunplay formula, and let's do something more in line with what they did for Max Payne 3. Take some of that DNA and splice it in here, fucking crisper it into GTA 6, and I am the happiest camper in the world. That is the number one thing I'd like to see. Of course, it, I don't expect them to do that. I, it's a pipe dream. I'm mainly just looking for something that showcases a truly different approach to their gunplay that isn't just going to be the exact same formula we've been experiencing. Not that it's bad by any means, but it's been many years now. Let's let's maybe do something a little bit more ambitious when it comes to that. Like I mentioned, I am extremely optimistic for GTA 6. I know there's quite a few people that are concerned it won't live up to the hype. It, it's, it's reached this unattainable status of hype that it will never be able to even scratch. I'm not one of those people. I really do think it can not only deliver on that level of hype without being a disappointment, but I think it can actually exceed it based on some of the things I did see in the leaks. Like, I, I'm not trying to spoil anything for anyone, which is why I'm not going to like blatantly mention some of the stuff, but even just from early footage, I, I was happy to see them do some pretty impressive things so early on, and I'm really excited for GTA 6. Oh, and also, uh, two other things that people are concerned about that I'd like to mention real quick. One of them is a lot of people think there's a chance GTA 6 might be priced hourly because the Take-Two CEO made a fucking greedy, stupid statement that sounded straight out of like an EA think tank meeting, or rather a Unity think tank meeting at this point with what they tried to pull, where he said that gamers should really be charged per hour in the games they play. But he was making a general statement about how, like, you know, you pay 60, 70 bucks for this game and you get hundreds and thousands of hours of enjoyment out of it. So really the price of games is super low when you compare it to the amount of hours of enjoyment you get from the products. And he basically goes on to just say, like, the value of a game is determined by the amount of entertainment hours that are associated with it for the player. So if a game is, like, thousands of hours of enjoyment you get out of it, it should be a more expensive game than one that's only eight hours of enjoyment. Like, there should be a higher price tag on a game that offers more hours played, basically. It, it's not something they're looking to do. They'd be extremely stupid to try and inflate the price of their game based on the amount of hours that a player will spend in there. That's not going to happen anytime soon. I think maybe in the future someone's going to give it a try and it's going to fail. It was just more out-of-touch corporate suit greed. I don't think it's coming to GTA 6. And speaking about GTA 6 and potential pricing, a lot of people are concerned that this game is going to cost like 150 bucks or like over a hundred dollars or, or something like that. And I don't think that's going to be the case at all. They'd be pretty stupid to do that as well. Now I know in other parts of the world the price of games is different, but I'm just going to speak in the US. There are people that are concerned it'll be like over a hundred bucks. I don't think it will be. I highly doubt they would want to price people out of being able to purchase GTA 6. The most important thing for them is getting them there in the first place, because where they make a killing is in GTA Online microtransactions, actually. So if they're charging over $100 for this game, there are a lot of people that aren't going to be buying it. Thus, they're losing out on potential long-term sales through GTA Online, and I don't feel like they'd take that risk. The norm for games right now, AAA big-budget games, is $70. That's what I imagine GTA 6 is going to retail for. I don't think they're going to try anything fancy with like a crazy huge price out of nowhere that we've never seen before. I do think it's going to be a standard $70 release because, again, 
They want people to get in the game, get hooked on the game, and then eventually spin long term in their ecosystem. But of course, I'm not the marketing executive here. I don't make any of the financial decisions for what GTA 6 is going to do. That's just my speculation, my little game theory. But yeah, like I said, the main thing I'd like to see from this trailer is gameplay, first and foremost. But not just that a new kind of gameplay for the Grand Theft Auto franchise. I'd like to see them finally do something a little different. Like, again, there's nothing wrong with the formula, the tried-and-true method that has worked for so long now, but I would really like to see them take a bit more of a chance on doing an elevated version of it, or just doing more for it. So, that's the main thing I'm looking for, and I just kind of wanted to talk about this. I'm really excited to see the trailer. I'm even more excited to see more from the game going forward, too. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.